Are you confused about the differences between ERC-20, ERC-721, and ERC-1155 Ethereum contracts? Stick around and I'll help you understand them. Now, first of all, what does ERC even stand for? Well, it's Ethereum Request for Comment. I know, it doesn't make sense. I didn't come up with it. ERCs are scripting standards or guidelines that all Ethereum-based tokens should follow. ERC-20 was first proposed in 2015 and integrated into the Ethereum blockchain in 2017. Some examples of ERC-20 tokens are USDT, SHIB, and DAI. An ERC-20 contract can have millions of tokens and these get distributed to owners. You can own multiple tokens and all the tokens have the same value. They are interchangeable. This makes ERC-20 tokens FTs, they're fungible tokens. You can exchange them one for one, just like a fiat currency. ERC-721 contracts are similar to ERC-20 contracts. You can still generate as many tokens as you want and distribute these, and you can own multiple tokens. The difference though is that ERC-721 tokens have extra functions and contain metadata. These are called smart contracts. And because of this, each token can have unique properties, making each token unique. And you can't exchange one token for another because none are exactly the same. And this is why ERC-721 tokens have become the gold standard for NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Examples of NFTs that use ERC-721 contracts are CryptoPunks, The Board Ape Yacht Club, and CodeCats. CodeCats is my personal creation and I've been documenting how I created them and how you can create your own NFT collection too. Check them out and the videos linked in the description below. Now let's talk about ERC-1155 contracts. Now these are a combination of ERC-20 and ERC-721 contracts. The contract has tokens, but these are not distributed. Each token is its own sort of contract. So each token is an item and has its own supply. Supply is then distributed. This way you can have fungible and non-fungible tokens on the same contract, but why would you want to do this? The biggest industry where ERC-1155 contracts are taking off is gaming. In a game, you'll have some sort of in-game currency, and so this is the fungible tokens. And you'll also have different items within the game. You'll probably have some armor and weapons, but you don't want every piece of armor or weapon to be completely unique. You might have 10 different types of helmets, but each helmet can have its own supply. Some may have larger or smaller supplies to make them more or less rare. You can also have completely unique items, and these would be non-fungible tokens or NFTs. And again, all of this is on the same contract, making it easier to create this type of game. But ERC-1155 contracts are not limited to just games. There are many other use cases. And on top of all of this, ERC-1155 contracts allow sending multiple and even different types of tokens together in one transaction. This greatly reduces network traffic and gas fees. ERC-1155 contracts also include safe transfer rules. This verifies each transaction, and if one fails, it can be reverted, returning the tokens back to the sender. This will prevent sending tokens into a black hole when you mistype an address. I think the ERC-1155 contract is a great addition to the blockchain. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Be sure to join my community Discord server. There are lots of great people and conversations happening over there. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.